let's start with fennel. Now, we could have put fennel in the liver drink, and that's quite nice. Uh, when I have fresh Delicious. fennel out in the garden, yeah. um, you know, I, I'm definitely, once it's up, it's putting sweet. that. It's so sweet. It's so nice. So I'm but no sugar in it, so obviously. It, so. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm definitely, and that is anti-flatulent and um, tasty. So that is actually a digestive liver herb in itself that stimulates digestion and will stimulate liver function. So that's a liver herb, technically. Um, a classic, classic liver herb, of course, is artichoke, and Lorna's going to talk about that in a few moments in greater detail. It's the leaf we use for this cynarin content. Um, you're probably used to the globe that you eat for supper, which I also eat for supper, and that has cynarin in it, but nothing like the amount that, that, that's in the leaf. The classic, of course, that everyone knows about, I think, is uh, milk thistle. I'm using a knife to, to lift it up because it's very prickly. So here we go. And there's the beautiful thistle flower, purple. Okay, and it's the seed we use. And the seed appears after this is flowered. And when it's ready, the little white parachutes that are atop of the seed float off and fall to the ground and are carried by animals or the wind and there they sow again. And once you get milk thistle flowering and, um, and seeding, you can't get rid of it. It gets uh, very tall, twice my height, and uh, proliferates and it can be quite a machete job if you don't want quite so much. To identify it from other thistles and its thistle family, it has this milky look to the leaf. So that's the identification of uh, milk thistle. And then just to show you the seeds, which is the bit we use. And when you buy the seeds, they need to be fresh and plump, not dried out and um, old. It's very important because actually the fatty acid content of milk thistle is really, really vital. And so I'm not so keen, I will use them if pushed, I'm not so keen on milk thistle powder added to smoothies or milk thistle powder in capsules because it can be a bit dried out and you lose that fatty acid content. So I'm rather keen on the whole seed, chewed salads, put into smoothies, put into your, even your liver drink, um, or the tincture. And I've talked about tinctures, so you might have three mil um, three times a day on your cleanse or you might get a formula that's pre-made and it might contain a bit of artichoke, a bit of milk thistle, a bit of fennel, a bit of rosemary um, and a bit of dandelion.